welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys kind of a different type of video. If you guys follow my channel and you guys follow me on all of my social medias, you would know that there was supposed to be a different video up today. Or last week. Yeah, let's go with last week. And uh, the video, due to some technical difficulties, i.e. my computer crashing, which I'm so excited about, I lost everything. And that video... Hopefully, it's still coming. I'm in the process of trying to recover everything, and I'm not very happy about it. Anyway, today is actually about something much more exciting, and it is Michelle Germain Fragrances. Um, they actually reached out to me and wanted to kind of talk to me about doing a video where I presented some of their fragrances, and I've never actually smelled any of the Michelle Germain Fragrances. I've heard of them. I've seen pictures of them online, and kind of, I knew that they were kind of a more popular fragrance. Um... On the more designer side, as you guys know, based around me, I'm more on the celebrity side. But I do actually have more designer, some designer fragrances. Um, I keep my eye out. I just don't have any, like, the big box stores near me. So, unfortunately, I don't get to test, like, newer fragrances when they come out. In order to get them, I have to buy them. And sometimes they're out for a while. I don't really get to hear about them. And Michelle Germain fragrances have been out for a, a little while. Um, but they're still really good fragrances. And they've been selling for a really long time. And they've been top sellers since they've been out. And I wanted to bring you guys kind of a little taste of their fragrances. And actually have a special offer for you guys. So Michelle Germain um, and their company was so nice to offer this little gift set for you guys. Which if you use my code A the S Perfume. 101, um, and I'll leave that right here as well in the description um, with a link to michellegermain.com. Um, if you use that code on any 2.5 ounce bottle or above on their website and add it to your cart and then add on my code, you guys will actually get this three-piece roller ball, which contains three of their top-selling fragrances, and they actually sent me something to unbox for you guys, so I actually haven't seen anything in there. But if you guys, like I said, go to Michelle Germain Fragrances, um, and use that code, you guys can get this whole set for free with any purchase of a 2.5 ounce bottle or more. So if you guys look down in the description, you guys can get that. But I have this box right here that I have no idea what's in. Um, they sent me this and asked me to unbox it for you guys. And I'm so excited to because it's always fun to get new perfume. And I've never done an unboxing for you guys. And look at this box. It is freaking gorgeous. And what better way to do my first unboxing than with something like super pretty like this. And I'm also going to do like first impressions on the fragrances and tell you guys what I like. So let me grab some testers really quick. Give me one moment. <laughs> going to stretch. Okay. Got my little tester cards. So let's just kind of pull this little ribbon off. I'm not quite sure how to do this. Can I, can I slide it off? I might be able to slide it off. Ooh, okay, I got it off, I think. Okay. There's the bow. Do I open it? Like, okay, I've never done an unboxing. I've seen so many unboxings, but I've never, like, actually done one. So. Okay. Um, so we've got tissue paper. Interesting. And it's all Michelle Germain tissue paper. And then I'm not quite sure what's in here. Like, I, there's a box here. Do I just take all the tissue paper out? It's got Michelle Germain written on. This box is so pretty. And it's one of those like magnetic boxes too, so I can actually use this and like store stuff in. Awesome. Throw all the this tissue paper off to the side. Oh my god. I don't want to like get rid of anything. It's all so pretty. Okay, so inside we have looks like four bottles. One, two, three, four. Okay. So four bottles. And they also sent me this little magazine, which right here, this one, um, that kind of goes over them. And I can tell you guys all about them and give you guys like all sorts of fun information about them. So I'm just going to kind of grab them and go through them and we'll see what they are. So the first one I'm going to go with this one is Sexual Paris Tendre. And it's the one on the cover of the magazine, so I just got to grab the blue one first. Um, this one is a female fragrance, I believe. I did ask them to send me just the female fragrances because I don't really wear the male fragrances, but um, would be happy to do male fragrances for you guys if you guys like them. I would totally go and grab those and pick them up and review them for you. So, this is the bottle. I am obsessed with this top. Hold my god. Like, look at that. Rhinestoned to heavens. I love, as you guys know, I love, like, leather and rhinestones and all that fun junk. Look at that cap. Okay. 
bottle, it's got this cute little, like, indent. See that? I've always seen pictures of this, but I've never actually, like, seen that. I really like the indent because it almost makes it somewhere to, like, put your finger when you spray it. If that makes sense? Yeah? 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 Am I the only one who thinks this? Okay. So, on the inside of the box, it does say, um, the website, which is michellegermain.com, and our Facebook handle, which is Sexual Perfume, and all that stuff. So, okay. So, this one, let's see. It says, Alluring French Sophistication and Romantic. Okay. This one has, should I just, like, not read the notes? Because I haven't read notes on these at all. Let's see if I can find the sprayer. I'm just going to spray them. And give you guys like initial reactions on each one. I'm not even gonna read the notes. Okay. This one's a little cleaner than my normal liking. This one's definitely floral. It's definitely lighter. It's very airy, if that makes sense. It is. It's not like. It's just. It's very floral, very light. There is something in there that's a little earthy and kind of spicy, but not like super. Like it's very floral. It's just kind of like a little spicy undertone. This one is a little bit too fresh for me. It's a little too floral for me. I wouldn't personally wear this one. But I, I do see the kind of like cleaner and where this fragrance fits in amongst others. And I haven't really smelled a whole lot of fragrances like this, but I also don't gravitate toward fragrances like that in this kind of more clean area. So that one is the first one, which is Sexual Paris Tundre, and I probably butchered that, and I lost a sparkly blue cap. You guys, I lost a sparkly blue cap. Oh. Next one is Sexual Noir. We'll go with that one. Sexual Noir, Michelle Germain. Let's see, open up this one. Does this one have a sparkly cap? No, this one's black. This one doesn't... Oh, but it has a little bow on it! You guys! Okay. So this one is Sexual Noir. It also has that little indent. I wonder if that is so you can spray, like, make it easier to spray. Because that, like... You guys, the sprayer is literally right there. If my, my little theory works, if I would... Hi. Anyway. Okay. You guys... There's glitter. Still! How long ago was that? It's still glitter! Oh my Jesus! Okay, let's see what this one's like. Ooh. I like this. It's very dark. Mm. I mean, noir, so yeah, dark. Um, this one kind of... Ooh. This one kind of reminds me of Killer Queen in a way. But a little darker. This is almost like Killer Queen Noir. No. This has got something in it that Killer Queen doesn't have. But it's kind of got that, like, that darkness that Killer Queen has, that kind of, like, fruity darkness. This definitely has that. It's definitely got like a sweet vanilla-ness to it as well. I really like this one. Ooh, yeah, okay, okay. That one's a winner. We like that one. One for two so far. Okay, okay. Um, this one is Sexual Paris, which I'm guessing would be the previous one to this one. I'm guessing. Let's see. This one's got a sparkly cap too! Look at that. Okay. Anyway, so this one is Sexual Paris. If I can get the thingy off. Let's see what this one smells like. Okay. Whoa. Okay. That's different. I like this. This almost reminds me like, it's almost got something minty in it. And I know that's wrong. And it's not. Like, mm. okay, we're gonna flip. We're gonna find out. Okay, so my consensus after taking a minute, reading the notes, respraying this, 
this doesn't have anything minty in it, but it's very effervescent. It's got champagne in the top, and I'm thinking the champagne's what making it super bubbly. But like, when I first spread this, I initially thought of like wintergreen gum or like something minty. It's very like fresh and invigorating and very like cooling, and I really, really like that. It's very different, but I definitely think I would wear this one. I'm not digging the floral to rye down totally. Mm, but it's not bad. This isn't like my favorite out of the three of them. I would probably put this like below the last one, but above the one before that one. Okay. And then the last one is sexual sugar. And this is the one I've actually heard of. Um, and I recognize the box when I, like I've seen this online and stuff, but I've never actually done, like smelled it. So this one it says sexual sugar. Um, and it's got like a, oh my God, that is ridiculous. Uh, like a mirrored cap. This is super reflective. Like I can see myself in it and you guys can see like my lights and my monitor and everything else. And I like that. Um, that light came off a lot easier than the other ones did. Um, so this one, I have a feeling just by sexual sugar, I'm gonna like it. But let's see. Maybe, if I can. Oh my Jesus. So instant reaction, I think, when anybody sees something that says sexual sugar or sugar or... You're gonna think pink sugar, like everybody thinks that. This isn't pink sugar. Oh my god, this is so much better than pink sugar. Like, you know how, like, pink sugar is burnt and crispy? It's still good, but, like, caramely and burnt. This is the other side of that. This is, like, sugary, sweet. The sugar's not quite burnt yet. It's getting to the caramel stage, but it's still sugary. It's still sweet. Oh, I like this one a lot. I like my sweet fragrances. I like this one. I really like this one. Because, like, I like pink sugar, but with pink sugar, I don't like the burntness, and this doesn't have that burntness. Mm, I really like this one. Would you guys like a review on this? I might. I really like this one. This one and the uh, the noir one, I really like. I mean, I'm... I'm just gonna... Mm, can we just, like, douse myself in this? Find this spray and just mm. yeah. It is so good. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. I can't stop smelling this. You guys seriously. Mmm. I wish there was smell of vision. This smells so good. I don't like sweet fragrances like this normally. But I think it's because like everybody tries to copy. Oh my god. Everybody tries to copy pink sugar, and it's that burntness in pink sugar that I don't like that's really, like, prominent in this. This is super sugary and sweet, but not burnt, and I like that. Because you don't always want to smell kind of burnt, and I, mm, I like this a lot. Mm. Okay, so there you guys go. I'm going to stop smelling that before... Anyway, oh, that smells so good. But thank you guys, honestly, because it was because of you guys that I was given this opportunity. And I really hope you guys go out and go to mustardgermain.com, um, look at their fragrances, and maybe pick one of these up. Because, um, yeah, you're going to find the best, like, the best prices on there. You're going to guarantee it's real. And this one, oh my god, is so good. It smells like it in the box, too. This smells so good. Definitely go pick up this one, if anything. Um, and you'll also get this little travel set, like I said earlier, which, does this one come with? You guys, okay. So, this has Sexual Paris, Sexual Noir, and Sexual Paris Tendre, and the sugar one, which is the one I'm currently wearing, and I can keep smelling every time I move this box. Anyway, um, it doesn't come in this set. So, go buy this, and then you can try the other ones, and you guys can tell me which ones you like. So, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. A link's in the description below. That's where you guys can kind of stay up to uh, date with me and kind of keep everything in contact. Um, again, there is a link in the description below to michellegermain.com. Use my code, A the S Perfume 101, and you guys will get a free travel set of these. So, as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye.